Tubing Conveyed Perforation. This module focuses on tubing conveyed perforation, or TCP, a widely used perforation method in well testing operations. It begins with an overview of what TCP is and highlights the reasons for choosing TCP over other perforation techniques. The module also covers the types of explosives used in TCP systems and emphasizes the importance of safety through a section dedicated to general TCP safety practices. By the end, learners will gain a clear understanding of TCP fundamentals, its advantages, and essential safety considerations in perforation jobs. What is TCP? TCP, Tubing Conveyed Perforation. Perforation is the process of creating communication tunnels from the casing or liner into the reservoir formation. These tunnels provide a pathway for oil or gas to flow from the reservoir to the surface, enabling production. In TCP, the perforating guns are conveyed by the tubing, making it an efficient method for perforating wells, especially in challenging conditions where other methods may not be suitable. TCP guns are used in situation, either under balanced perforating is desired over a long interval, or when the deviation is so high that wireline conveyed guns cannot be used. In these cases, TCP provides a reliable solution for reaching the desired reservoir zones. The most common method uses high-shot density HSD perforating guns equipped with shaped explosive charges. These charges create precise perforations in the wellbore, ensuring efficient communication between the casing and the reservoir for hydrocarbon production. So, why choose TCP? TCP is considered an efficient method for perforating long intervals because it significantly reduces the number of trips required during the perforation job. By allowing multiple perforation zones to be addressed in a single run, TCP streamlines the process, saving both time and resources. This efficiency leads to a more cost-effective operation, minimizing downtime and ensuring that the job is completed more quickly and safely. In short, TCP enhances operational efficiency by minimizing the number of trips needed to complete a perforating job. To produce oil at surface, it's essential to perforate the cased hole wells. Once the TCP string is successfully run into position in front of the desired reservoir formation, the next step is to fire the guns. This action creates communication tunnels, or perforations, that go from the casing directly into the reservoir formation. These tunnels provide a pathway through which hydrocarbons can flow from the reservoir to the surface, allowing for production to begin. It's a critical step in ensuring that the well is properly connected to the formation, enabling efficient and controlled flow of hydrocarbons. TCP Explosives In the oil and gas industry, three main types of explosives are commonly used for TCP applications, HNS-HTX, HMX, and RDX. Each of these explosives has unique properties that make them suitable for specific conditions. The selection of the appropriate explosive largely depends on critical factors such as the bottom hole temperature and the expected duration of the operation. For example, higher temperatures may require explosives that can withstand more extreme heat, while the operation time may influence the choice based on how long the explosive needs to maintain its stability and effectiveness. Therefore, choosing the right explosive ensures optimal performance and safety during the perforation process. General TCP Safety Clear communication is essential at every stage of the operation to ensure smooth coordination and prevent any mishaps. First and foremost, TCP guns must always be loaded at the rig site. It's crucial that all team members are in agreement about where the guns will be loaded, ensuring that there is no confusion or miscommunication during the process. Similarly, it's important to decide in advance where the explosive bunker will be placed to ensure safety and proper handling. Before any explosive work is carried out, a work permit must be obtained. This is a necessary step in ensuring that all safety protocols are followed and that we are compliant with the relevant regulations. Another key aspect is the Job Safety Analysis, JSA. A JSA should be performed before each step of the TCP and DST operation to identify potential hazards and mitigate risks. This includes steps such as picking up the TCP guns, running in hole with the DST TCP, perforating the well, killing the well, and finally rigging down the TCP guns. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up today's presentation. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us keep creating more content like this. See you in the next video.